The second technique that I taught you through the series was the split entry. We went to the arm bar. Okay, so remember I said you can go to arm bar up, you can come down to arm bar down, you can take this anywhere, move into a shoulder lock. The, but the basics is going to be once you come in, is to keep that shoulder in tight. If he applies that, or if he does this technique on me, and he has space as he moves, it's easy for me to stop his shoulder like that. So as I come in, I do the split entry. Remember? Do some hits, distraction, put the shoulder there, and then move into the arm bar up. Okay? If, you're, if he's a little taller, you can come all the way and use the shoulder and do it this way. Okay? So we come in, do your split entry, move into the arm bar. Okay? Here or all the way here. Okay? Split entry, come into the arm bar. Now, if this should fail, we move back, we take a step back, the left foot. I'm gonna use this right hand on the shoulder, anchor it, so I can grab his wrist. Okay, this position in Wing Chun we call Bong Sao. So I'm gonna put his arm like in that bent elbow lock. This is our bent position we call Bong Sao. This hand is in the middle of his chest. I grab it. Once I have this, I can release it. Okay, because he can't really get out of this lock. Go ahead. See, he's stuck. So you, you, you feel free to release it. And now remember, the energy, the way, the way we protect, protect our energy, if I just go like this, it's going to be a huge difference if I aim the energy where I'm directing it. So I came in, split entry, I moved into an arm bar. Let's say it failed, I step back, I grab, do the submission. Okay, the second one. The third one, as we did our progression, one, I came back, maybe this quite didn't work, I grabbed his hand down this way. See what I do? I'm pulling it so that his, his back of his palm is facing him as I grab. So it's like I'm palm to palm right now. Split entry. I move in, come back. I did this lock. I went palm to palm. I'm pointing my finger right where I want it to go, right under here, locking my elbow in, and I submit here. Okay. Uh, the next thing we did in our sequence, after we came to the arm bar up, move back, did this long lock. I came in here like this. What I did is get them off balance. I pull them off balance so that I can get this in to do a rear naked choke. I get my deep V. I'm grabbing my own bicep, coming behind. And remember the key is not to crank down, but just use your lats to do your submission. Okay. Split entry, arm bar, pull back. Bomb, come under here, step back, get in deep. If you don't quite get it, you can punch, get the position in, and do your rear naked choke. Okay, the next one we did, we used this one here where I came in and did the wedge. Okay, we did a wedge. We did take down this one, right? Okay, yeah. So we came in, wedge, step down, come into a squat, pull up, come around. Okay. Again, use your wedge entry. What you want to do is bring his hand right down to his foot. So let me go to the side. As I come in, this hand right to his foot. Watch as I step in with my right. Bring my feet in the squat position. I'm going to just come up here, walk around this way. Okay, can you move over for the camera this way? Yeah. And then. Place my feet, a little bit more at this angle. Place, place my feet in together here, do a wrist lock, okay? If the wrist lock fails, go ahead and drop down, okay? Bend this over to a shoulder lock, come up to a wrist lock, up, and then to a finger lock, okay? Come in with that wedge, okay? Come down, step around, I'll move you around this way for camera angle again, okay? Wrist lock, bend down, put your left hand in, shoulder, wrist, finger. Okay, um, I think also I did a, oh, uh, split entry, I think we did split entry to the figure four, right? So when I came in, there's my entry here, slow, bang, I strike. Put the strike in, right into his um, elbow joint, you're gonna wrap together here. Once you have this position, you can release and do that wrist lock, okay? From here. Now, from here, as he's moving over, I can scoop it and shelf it this way. 
Okay, and then I, I think I moved you right into this position for that arm resting lock. So remember, this here is a real good position for the, the takedown. I'm going to do this lightly, but right here, it pulls the shoulder down. Okay, so, sit in this angle. I enter, I make my strike, I bring it right into that figure four. Okay, from that figure four again, what you can do is basically get like a, a standing Americana from here. Okay, by just releasing and pulling on the shoulder, so it hits the shoulder. Okay, so we can scoop to get them off balance as I walk forward. As I switch, I come here. That might be a takedown. Now as I pull them back, this time I'm going to pull my right hand and then I'm going to insert the rear naked choke. Okay, um, is that it? Did I do anything else? Okay, okay I think that's what we kind of covered, just some of the basic fundamentals. Let me just review again. The key thing is get your setup because once you've got this, you have wraps that you can move in. Go ahead and get the side choke. So you can come in all the way here and then the side choke from that split entry. So your positions are stepping this way, right? You could go forward with it. You could start to move in this direction. Whether it's an arm bar up or arm bar down, you can still end up doing your, your takedowns. Okay? Um, I don't think we did lock flow there. The whole lock flow we did. The, the, uh, we didn't do lock flow there. No, we didn't. That was for the video we shot. Okay. I think that's it. All right. Well, there. It is on. It is on YouTube, as I promised you. All right. Thank you.